is Kaylee Hibachari here. Welcome to another Pokemon Ultra Moon episode showing off my lovely, lovely shiny Pokemon. I have caught mostly all of, except for like a few in events and stuff like that. So, today's batch of six is as follows. Let's get right into it. Oh, the quality is good enough. I'm doing this on my phone. I'm holding my phone, so it might be a little, um, you know, spotty at best. <laughs> so here's our next group of six. We'll be starting with Altaria. This is one of the wormhole. Get a good focus on it. There we go. This is another one of the wormhole shinies. You can go through the ultra wormholes in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. There's a mini game to go through them. This is one of the normal shinies that you can get. Not one of the legendaries, but you can find all the legendaries in there. This one's very specifically tricky to catch because it can kill itself with Parish Song. So there's that to be mindful of. I caught it myself in Ultra Moon, um, the game that I'm showing now. And I caught this on December 14th. So it was the same day that I caught the last one I showed off, which was Nuzleaf, I believe. I think I caught a lot of the, um, I think I caught a lot of the wormhole shinies that day. Altaria is found in the red wormholes, which, um, have flying Pokemon in them. And it's normally more of a bluish -y color instead of this orange that it has on it right now. But yeah, um, it's a nice looking shiny. I think it's orange, might be gold. I'm a bit colorblind, so, you know. I'm sure you can see the colors better than I can. <laughs> so this one's Altaria. Not much more to say about that. It may have died the first time I tried, but um, you can um, save in front of the Pokemon with the all with like normal wormhole ones. Like, the normal shinies, not the legendaries. Um, the normal ones, you can, like, just search the wormholes, and it's determined when you go inside the wormhole. So, like, I think you have, like, somewhere between, like, a 7% chance of finding one. It's really, really high chances, but, yeah. Um, all you really have to do is, like, save in the wormhole, and no matter what, if it's going to be shiny when you find it, It'll always be shiny, no matter how many times you reset, it'll always be shiny. Or if it's not shiny, no matter how many times you reset, it won't be shiny. But, um, the legendaries are different. You can shiny re- you can, um, self-reset for them. Which I did. Um, don't know the number, like, how many attempts for, like, these more recent ones that I'm showing off. But, um, I didn't, like, know how to- count them at that point, but I did find a counter, so some of the later ones I'll show will have a tent, like how many times it took me to get them. So yeah, this is Mesprit here, another legendary through the wormholes. Um, like I said, you can soft reset for these, and I just did that in Ultra Moon. Um, this was on December 14th as well, so, uh, took me probably like less than a day. Um, think, if I remember correctly, this one and Yvitel, the other legendary that I caught, they took me like, um, maybe an hour to get them. They were pretty quick. Um, I do have the shiny charm, so it makes it a lot easier. The chances are better. It's still all luck, but you do have better chances with the shiny charm than without it. I have the shiny charm on both this game and um, Pokemon Sun, so yeah, they make it a it makes it a lot easier to try and soft reset for these things. Um, here's Mesprit. Look how cute that is! Isn't that adorable? Isn't that adorable? That thing looks really cute. This is the only one of the, uh, the lake guardians that I have. You find them in the blue wormholes. Um, and yeah, um, so that's Mesprit. You can soft reset for them. I did. It can take a while, depending on your luck. But shiny charm makes shiny hunting 
so much better. I love the shiny charm. And last one for this grouping of six is another green wormhole shiny, which is Drapion. Nice looking one. I like it. Like I said, caught myself in the green wormholes. This was um, December 15th. Oh, did I get my dates wrong again? Hmm. Okay, well, this says December 15th, 2017. So yeah, here we go. Drapion. December 15th, I found it. Um... And I was going through more of the wormholes. It's in a green wormhole. Um, at the time, just looking for legendary shinies. Came upon Mesprit when I got this, or after I got this. It was around that time. So, these are going to be a little out of order. So, I stand corrected, it's not the last one of the group, because I have these out of order. Again, I'm sorry, I'm trying to mark them down properly, but uh, I guess I get mixed up on the dates a little. Yeah, there's Drapion. Not a bad Pokemon. Next, we have Cresselia. This one took a while. <laughs> I was not happy with this guy. This took a bit of perseverance. This was like the first one I struggled on, I think. Like, I really struggled on this one. <laughs> it looks really pretty, though. Like, look at that shiny. Caught it myself. Ultra Moon. It's in the red wormholes. Um, soft resetting for it. So this one I caught on December 19th, 2017. So um, that's five days of trying to go for this guy. <laughs> Since I um, would have probably started looking after I caught the Muskrat. Maybe four days if I took a bit of a break, but that's still quite a wait long time. That was annoying. <laughs> got the Cresselia. I'm going to show it off now. Which Pokeball is it? That one. Okay. Finally got the Cresselia. Took a while, but yeah. Cresselia's turn to shine. Look how pretty you are. Look how pretty you are. Yeah, you're so pretty. I really like the look of this one. That's why I kept working at it, even though it took so long. Um, but yeah, it's a really pretty, nice-looking shiny. Shiny Cresselia there. Let's see, let's see. What's next? What's next on here, on the list? Um, uh, yes. Carbink. Now this one I got a little bit differently. But yeah, there's my shiny Carbink. This guy's really good for SOS hunting, but more on that later. Caught this myself. It was found at 10 Carat Hill, which is on the first island, it's near the end of the first island. Caught this on December 26, 2017. So this one, I took quite a long break after getting Cresselia. You know, um, Christmas and all that, um, I needed a break, so I took a break and I started this, um, again after Christmas. I was actually trying to get another Pokemon, which is how I ended up getting this one. Um, there's a shiny method you can use, which is island scanning, and I was island scanning at the time for a shiny Onyx, um took me way longer to find that. It will be shown uh, at some point. It's in here. I'll, 
Oh, I'll talk about that a bit more when I find it, when I get to it. Um, but yeah, so shiny carbink. I was looking for the shiny onyx. And when you do the island scan, you do have a chance of finding other Pokemon that aren't part of the island scan. To do the island scan method, um, you can use the repel trick, which I was using, and you just like run around, look for the Pokemon, you can run away, but you only have an hour to try and get the Pokemon, and you can only do it on certain days. Um, so I was looking for the Onyx on a Tuesday, which is the day you get Onyx, and running around in 10 Carat Hill, this guy popped up when I wasn't even looking for it, not, not really, and um, yeah, just like an encounter that popped up. Um, you can reset the game so you have more time than an hour, so I just kept doing that. And I eventually found a shiny Carbink in there instead, because it's one of the wild Pokemon that you can catch, since you can catch other Pokemon besides the one that you're scanning for. And, yeah, I just happened to find this nice little Carbink when I wasn't even looking for it. So that was a nice surprise. I did want the Onyx. I didn't get it at that time. It took way longer than that. <laughs> but the Carbank is nice, and it's pretty helpful in using for other shiny methods with, with its um, clear body ability. Makes it really nice and useful. Okay, next we have... Who's next? Who's next? Arduino! Not the best looking one, but there's Arduino. You find them in the green wormholes, just, you know, you search the wormholes. I'm showing it very clearly. I'm not sure why that's not being as clear as it was, but... Um, That was found on November 13th, 2018, so, again, took a while to find other things, because I was looking a really, really, really long time for that Onyx. I mean, really long time. <laughs> um, and I didn't have it yet at this point, so, yeah, I think I took a break from it, went back to wormholes for a while, looking for legendaries, and I came across this in one of the green wormholes. So, we will show you off now. cute. I'm not a big fan of Arduino. Yeah, there's shiny Arduino. Not bad looking. I think the not shiny is a more pinkish color. But yeah, there's that. Another wormhole shiny. Ready to move on. Sorry about that little bit of editing in there. Um, I had my order a bit wrong. Drapion came between Mesprit and Cresselia, so I found um, the Mesprit first, then I found Drapion, then I found Cresselia after that, and um, Audino was after after that. So yeah, um, that was the order of those this group. Um, We'll find something to fight here to show them off. I will try to get my dates right, I, I swear. I'll get them right for the next one. So, there's Altaria. First Pokemon in this group. Next we have... Desperate. Look at that shine, guys. Just look at that shine. Hope you love it as much as I do. Yeah, is this the right one? Um, yeah, 
Drapion. Okay. Drapion is supposed to be next. Like I said, I got the order a little mixed up, but we're good now. Yeah, yeah, that's doing like no damage to me. We're fine. We're all good. These Pokemon can take it. They're strong. You get level 60s in the wormholes. So they're pretty good and tough. Look at that lovely Cresselia. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. There's my carbink. This guy's a little lower than the others because it was not found in the wormholes. Um, caught it pretty young, but it's been trained up since. Um, I like it. It's a good one. It's a nice, strong little thing. Here's the last one for the set. Y'all do know. Which is supposed to be the last one for the set. Since I did not. Since I got my dates wrong. Let's see, an NK, huh? Um, what do I want to show off? Let's show off... Let's show off the Cresselia. It's nice looking. Super effective, and it did like nothing to me. Effective, no effect, effective. Um, Alright, use that. Use an Aurora Beam. No, oh, that didn't really do too much. I guess it's because that thing was super effective to me. Probably could have picked a better Pokemon. Uh, fine, let's try Slash. There we go, that's better. Okay, and there we have it. That's round two, I believe. Um... We will be getting to more of these guys soon. I always do that. I always go the wrong way. I have trouble finding my way around these platforms. <laughs> you will probably see me do that every single episode. Going the wrong way from the Poké Center. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for now. I hope you guys all enjoyed seeing the second batch of Shinies. There will be more to come. Um, please let me know what you think of these, and I'll keep doing them. Even if my recording quality is not the greatest, I hope it's alright. But yeah, so these are my lovely, this is one of my new shiny videos. I'll have another one coming to you soon, and I'll see you then.